a frostbite never killed anybody, right? Hello everyone, welcome back to the cabin. I'm Russell, and this is Raspberry Rock. Behold, what a beautiful day it is. Where'd my sun go? <laughs> the sun here a moment ago. I went from, oh, I went from 1200 watts down to 320 watts. I got a little bit of cloud, a little bit of clouds rolling in. Come on! Ah, uh, that did nothing. Anyway, uh... to get to started on a new project. Uh, you may remember that uh, a few weeks ago, gosh, month and a half ago, two months ago now, I forget. Anyway, I was in the local home hardware in Tweed and I saw a generator and I thought, that's what I'm going to buy. And then I went online on their website and found it was $100 cheaper on the website. So I ordered it there to have it delivered to that store. And I'm sure they just pulled one out of inventory and said, yep, it's ready. So I finally got around to picking it up. It's here. I, I, I'm looking at it right now. It's right. I'll show it to you in a sec. But what I got to do today is I'm going to get started on a uh, generator box, a, like a doghouse kind of thing. I don't have everything I need. I still got to go to town and get some stuff. But I got some. Um, I bought a bunch of two by threes for the framing. That might be overkill. Maybe I should have went with two by twos. But yeah. So I'm going to get started on that and see how far I get. I kind of had a basic idea of what I want to do. I haven't drawn anything up. I haven't designed anything. There's my son. And a duck just landed on the lake. Hey. Hey. Quack. Quack. He's looking at me. <laughs> anyway. As I said, I don't know how far I'll get today. Um, but we'll see. First thing I gotta do is get this out of the box and see how big it is and then kind of design the frame to go around it. Let's take a look at it. So, it's a benchmark. Uh, I don't know anything about benchmark stuff. Um, it's not what I wanted. I wanted a uh, Westinghouse 7500 running watts. This one has 3600 running watts. A little bit bigger than my old generator which is 3250. Um, but the big thing, of course, is the remote start. That's that's what I really wanted. Although I tell you what, after cutting down all those trees to free up the free the sun to oh geez, what am I trying to say? <laughs> so, <laughs> so I can get some more sunshine on the solar panels. I've only run the generator once since then, and before that, I was running it like every other day. So I guess I just don't need the generator as much. Anyway, <clears throat> June bug, <laughs> you're in the shot. You're in the shot. Here, come over here, right here. Over here, I can still pet you. There you go. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna take it out of the box. We'll take a look at it, see how big it is. But uh, very similar to my old generator, really. I mean, it looks almost, well, it looks very similar. I brought in this dolly for moving big stuff around. <laughs> Slightly better than carrying it. All right, let's do this. It got a little wet. It was uh, raining the day I brought it in. But, ah, it's wrapped in plastic. Smart. This is what separates the men from the Russells. <laughs> it's heavy. Did I mention that? Oh, come on. Another option. <laughs> it 
It's easy when the box is wet. <laughs> Way to go, Russell. What a plan. <laughs> Let it get wet and then it just kind of comes off. Yeah. <laughs> Way to go, Russell. You don't hear that said very often. All right. So it looks like there's the battery for the remote start. Oh, here we go. Aha. The fob. Have we seen this? This is what it's all about. Start, stop. <laughs> That's all I need.
I don't know how to do this part. <laughs> I mean, that, that could be fine. I could just cut a couple more pieces, kind of use this as a template, but uh, I don't know. It doesn't have to look super nice. It just has to keep the, uh, the generator, it just has to keep snow and rain off the generator. So, uh, yeah, I think I've had enough for today. So much work done, Russell. You must be so proud of yourself. Yeah, I'm just a dynamo out here. I was sworn I'd get further than that, though. Jeez. Playing hooky. It's snow. It's like just above freezing, maybe one Celsius. And uh, dogs haven't been to the trail cams in forever. <laughs> Sometime in September, I think I stopped taking them. I mean, I took them other places, but uh, they just haven't got much exercise. The usual way. That's my, that's my lumber, dog. How far are you gonna carry that? Good breaks.
What are you doing? What are you doing? Slightly above freezing, and Willow's just wandering through the water like it's the middle of summer. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the swampy area behind our cabin is all frozen this morning. It's cold. How about you? Huh? How about you? You having a good time? Tired dog is a happy dog. Isn't that cold? Yes. I'm gonna go inside and see if we got anything on the trail cam. And then maybe do something with that again.
remember this area from a few videos ago. This flooded area that is flooding my trail. Uh, and the beavers have started building a dam there again. Look at this. I've taken that beaver down four fucking times now. Can you believe it? And this is still happening. So today, I'm going to try and do something about it. Um, take that beaver dam down one more time. Hopefully the last time. And what I've got here, I'm also going to town with my recyclables. Cans and crap. Uh, yeah, so what I've got here is this piece of PVC that hopefully I'm going to get into the... Uh, uh, the dam somehow and it wasn't until I was on my way out here that I realized I was thinking I was just whoops <laughs> where are you putting the camera Russell? I th was thinking I'm, I'm gonna break down the dam put the PVC in there and then put some rocks on top of it and hope that the beavers don't knock it loose but the more I think about it the more I'm not sure about that I think what I want to do is get some rebar pound it in and then tie the PVC between them like hold them hold it nice and steady so um, I am going to town, but what I'll do first is I'm going to take the dam down first. Uh, let the water level go down so that it's a little easier to work in there. Otherwise, it might be kind of difficult. Anyway, I'm going to get on it. Get on it. I didn't bring the dogs with me because, I mean, look at this. It's, uh, and they'll be, you know, I'll go out there in that dam and they'll be right there with me in the water. And it's, it's just, you know, I don't, it's just too cold. <laughs> You know their their paws will freeze up if they get if they get wet. So, uh, so I took down the dam. Uh, not as far as I wanted to actually, but I didn't want to get my feet wet. And I kept hearing this chirping as I was doing it, and it kept getting louder and louder. I didn't uh, film myself taking down the dam because I've done it before. If you want to uh, see that video, take a look up here in the corner. I'll share it there. Anyway, heading to town now. Well, I'm back and I'm not sure how much you can see. Uh, it's forever in town. I don't know why that happens. I wish you could see this ice here, but uh, water level's down probably a foot. Anyway, I'm not going to dick around here in the dark. I have what I need. I got the rebar. Got some twine to tie it up. Oh, we could almost... Here, we're going to have a top secret moment where I'm watching the ground and walking along. <laughs> top secret, the movie, you know, with Val Kilmer? Ah, uh, you didn't get it. <sighs> Scary. I wish you could see what I'm seeing here. This is really cool. The way the ice is. Anyway, I'm not. I'm, I'm just going up to see it right now. But <laughs> if I take a sudden, very cold. Uh, well, I guess it's, it would be a polar bear plunge. I'm not going to be happy. Russell. Right. Almost there. You got this, Russell. Good hands. Good hands, Russell. 
Okay. I really, I just, uh, oops. I don't know how much you can see, but I really just opened, I opened the whole thing up. But this channel, I just kept digging down further and further, because this is where I want to put the pipe. Uh, and it's still open. And I don't think the beavers can come and plug this up, because there's, there's ice out there. There's a half inch of ice. I know it's hard to see. But that's a half inch. And they need to float their, their sticks and branches over here. They can I mean, they could break through the ice if they wanted to. But whether they will or not, I don't know. So... I may, uh, I may end up breaking up the dam again tomorrow if they come back. Uh, so much time wasted in town. Anyway, I gotta get out of here. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, in 15 minutes, it's gonna be completely dark here. Well, I'm back at the spot on the trail that was flooded. It's the next day. I meant to do an awesome moon time lapse last night because the moon, the moon looked pretty cool. But I forgot to put the camera out, so just assume that it would have been awesome. It looked great. Good job, Russell. Fantastic moon laps there. Your uh, your video skills are quite something. Anyway, uh, water level has gone down a lot here. Uh, you can see this is like a foot maybe, and it's still cracking and breaking just about everywhere. And I keep hearing it. Uh, I don't know how well you can see. GoPro is not that great at things in the distance. But it's, it's gone down like at least a foot here. Yeah, that was good. Totes. Uh, yeah, quite something. Anyway, looking forward to seeing if those beavers have tried to do anything. Happening now. Ice. Ice breaking. <laughs> it's quite loud. Okay, brought my gun just in case I uh, see any gross. I did see one, it flew away. What are they worried about? Why do they keep flying away? Oh, I guess they're worried about people like me with guns. Yep, okay, let's go. <clears throat> and now we find out if beavers can rebuild the dam when there's ice in the way. Okay, here we go. Okay, I guess there's there's my answer. Somehow they did. Uh, whoops. Camera pointing in the right direction or something. Uh, but not much, actually. Like most of the that side over there, looks like they didn't do anything. It's all right here in this spot. And I, I would guess that the water's open all the way along the, the side there. So maybe they came in on the side. This all looks like fresh stuff. Well, actually, now that I look at it, this ice has all been broken as well, all through here. But, could have, well, I don't see any, hmm. Hard to tell <laughs> where they came from. But this shouldn't take too much work to break down. Break it back down to where it was yesterday. Yeah, I'm gonna get to work. I'm, I'm not gonna film it because you guys have seen it before. I have no idea if this is going to work. I'm just winging it out here. The idea is I want to get as much pipe into the pond as possible, like far out, because the beavers push mud right up to the dam. I don't want them pushing mud into the, the pipe, right? And I don't need much on this side of the dam, just like 
a foot or two kind of thing. Yeah. like crazy, but uh, a little hypothermia never killed anybody, right? <laughs> a little frostbite never killed anybody, right? So I'm, I'm really, really pleased with how this turned out. I, uh, it's, I think I'm gonna go back tomorrow and check it, but I think the only thing I gotta worry about in the future is that end, if that end gets mud, like, shoved over it or something, and it gets clogged up. But then the easy thing is, I just have to come in here and unclog it. I don't have to clear out this, Jesus. I don't have to clear out the whole thing again. I like how far it's sticking out there. It's well beyond this mud that they've pushed up. And it's nice and stable in there. It's not moving at all. Uh, the only question now becomes kind of an academic question is, uh, is that enough to move? Is it going to move enough water to make a difference? Like if it rains all day, is it going to, it's not, is it, it, well, it's not going to keep up with the load, but how quickly is it going to drain the water back down to normal level? Academic question, Russell. Anyway, we're going to get out of here. And we'll, we'll come back tomorrow. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Can you hear me okay? I don't, sometimes the mic gets... I, I had the GoPro in the water and the mic sometimes gets all warbly. Is that better? Alright, we're getting out of here.
so I was going to get back to work on my uh, generator box, but things keep coming up here. Uh, like this. <laughs> I fully intended to empty this before it froze up, but I also wanted to use water out of it as long as possible. Because um, it's full. It's completely full. And uh, I still see bubbles there. Anyway, I guess it's time, but uh, it's frozen chet. <laughs> I've been working it for the last 20 minutes. I've got it. There's a dribble coming out. Uh, I'm going to see if I can speed it up a little bit. Get some boiling water. I can just get a little bit more. <laughs> it might take a while, but uh, I'm going to uh, do. It's dirty. I'm going to fill up every container I have. With dirty water. It's time to, well the buckets are filling up, it's time to play that age old game that everybody loves. I'm trying to slip down the slope there and into the icy water. Yeah, we call this game Ice Shooter or something. I don't know what we call it. We call it Ice Shooter. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Ooh. <laughs> Whee! 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 <laughs> All right. Let's up a bit. I don't know if this is going to work. This ice looks really... Holy crap. It's thicker than I thought it was. If I go through here, it's going to keep going. <laughs> hmm. It's hard to play ice shooters when you can't get any ice. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> I was about to say, will it support my weight? I don't think so. Give me a piece of ice. Aha! Finally, we can play ice shooters. <laughs> okay. How far will it go? You might get a better view up here. That went a long way. <laughs> Let's get the other camera. Hold on. All right. That one went really. That one went halfway across the pond. I'm gonna beat it this time, though. Oh, just missed.
missed the post. Whoops. Yay! It broke into two pieces. One piece went further, and one piece didn't go as far. <laughs> Okay, I got one more piece. Let's see if we can set the record. Let's see if I can if I can zoom in on the right spot here. And kind of aim for that area. There we go. first one <laughs> all right one more one more oh, oh so close all right that's enough Frostbite never killed anybody, right? Now these are all my water containers. I used this bucket to fill them all up and now to fill this one up I'm just using this little pot. Uh, because it can't stand up straight underneath. But I thought I'd show you, I mean I, what, what I use all these for <laughs> might not seem obvious. This big pot here at the end uh, I use for shower water. Um, and yeah for showering or just doing the dishes we use straight rainwater. It doesn't, they don't do anything to it. So this this is for showers, and I desperately need a shower. I'm going to take one today. This pot here uh, we use for heating up water for dishes. Again, unfiltered. These two guys were just sitting around the cabin for like ever. I think I used one of them for showering originally, but fairly. I one of them is really dirty because it didn't have a cap on it. Anyway, these two I'll I'll put through the water filter because um, it doesn't matter how how dirty that water is. These two buckets are my main, uh, my main things for my main water containers in the kitchen. Like these just sit on the floor in the kitchen, and this is what I use for doing dishes or stuff. And I bring them out and I fill them up every once in a while. Those are my main, my main two water thingies. Uh, this is my water filtration thing. I bought it out here just to show you guys. It's full right now. And I also had to take the uh, the metal. I'm not sure what it's called, off the stove, the metal thing, because the filtering, the filter thingies come out the bottom of the pot, so I couldn't just sit it out here on the deck. Uh, anyway, that's, that's about a five gallon container. This is a this big pot, you've probably seen it from old videos in the wintertime where I'm heating up snow on the stove. That's what I use that one for. That's about eight gallons, it carries a lot of water, and, and in fact, I'd filled it up and taken it inside and put it away, and then I thought, oh, I should show you guys all this stuff. And I had to bring it back out. It's hell to move that thing. But I'll, I'll put that under the sink and I'll just use that for water filtering as well. This guy, um, it sits out here on the deck for most of the year on the, um, on the washing machine over there. And we use it for washing our hands outside. Uh, straight rainwater again. That's so we, we're not using our precious filtered water in the kitchen for just stuff like washing hands. You don't need it. Uh, but during the winter time, I empty it and sometimes, well, usually I leave it out here on the deck, but today, since I'm gathering as much water as I can, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it. I think that's all of them. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 23, uh, close to 30 gallons of water here. And I'm gonna let the, uh, the tote empty now. Just empty out.
in there. Oh, there it goes. Well, look at that. It's like that's like war. War. Uh, what do they call it? You know, when you've like gone to battle and. Oh, war. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say it looks like road rash, but. Uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> Anyway, you happy to be back? I'm very happy to be back. It's been uh, like a good month, right? It's been a while. And you know what we're gonna do first? I don't know. We're gonna go. We're gonna go <laughs> check out that beaver dam, right? Oh yes, I want to see if that PVC pipe is that what you call it? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. I always get confused between the PVC and the a ABS. Right. Yeah, I want to see if that works. All anyway, right, we're gonna go do that. All right, it's the moment of truth. Well, it's still there. It's still there, look. What did they do? They f filled it full of mud or something. <laughs> What's going on? But it's still there. The rubber boots, but... Maybe you could have brought them. Not as much coming through there as I thought. Or something. Have you got a rock on you? Not at this moment, no. Okay. Let me know if you see it coming out the other end. Not yet. Nope. Mm -hmm. Not yet. There it is. Did stuff come out? Oh, there we go. Look at it go now. Not that I could tell, but the water's a bit murky. Oh. Well, your head's in the way. It's better. Woohoo. Pretty good, I don't know. So it rained last night, or snowed, wet snow, I don't, one of the, probably rain. Uh, so the water level was up a little bit. So the only question now is, is there enough flow going through here to keep the water level at a nice low level? Can't see any flow with these two in the way. <laughs> <laughs> What I wouldn't give for five minutes with a backhoe right now. I'm digging a well. They're not digging a well. They're very, they're very into it, whatever. I don't know what's in there. Oh, 
not. But look, see, there's water. Come, come closer. It's really dirty water right now, but. I'm past the, the no fun part, and the first foot or so is all the roots, and that part's no fun. Excuse me. <laughs> Oy vey. So I ran into a rock, big rock. At the, I got down two feet. Uh, this is the second time this has happened to me, and I hate it because it's like hours worth of work just gone, done, it's over. And I won't get another chance to dig a dig a hole because tomorrow starts uh, a, a series of really cold days. Like the high is the high is like one tomorrow, and then the next day it's minus one. And the day after that's minus one. It's gonna be all frozen up. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys this little guy. A company called Sun Gold Power sent me this inverter, uh, asking me to do a review on it, and I said sure. Um, haven't done that. <laughs> I've actually had it for a while. I haven't done it um, because it's, it's kind of like if I'm if I'm gonna really uh, test it, I got to integrate it with my system, and it's a lot of it's a lot of work. And I wanted to uh, work with my uh, my new generator as well, and I haven't gotten any more work done on my generator box. Of course, it's still sitting here. Can you see it? Yeah, anyway. Uh, this is kind of a snazzy looking unit. I, I kind of like the uh, the form factor. I love the layout. Um, but, as I said, I haven't tested it yet. I don't know anything about it. I just got it out of the box. Um, I'm looking forward to doing that review. But, the company emailed me and said, Can you do the review? If not, can you at least mention that we're having a Black Friday sale? <laughs> I said, sure! So Sun Gold Power is having a Black Friday sale. I'm not even sure what they sell. Obviously inverters, they probably sell charge controllers as well. Maybe even battery systems. I should probably look that up before I start talking about it. Anyway, <laughs> they're on a Black Friday sale. I'll put the link in the description below so you can check that out and see what they have. Um, if you're looking for, uh, it, like a, you can look up reviews. I'm sure there's other reviews on YouTube for these guys as well. If you wanna, Take a look for somebody who's actually done it so far, but I am I am planning to do a review of it. Gosh, it's really simple. There's only there's two poles on it <laughs> and an interface for communications. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Anyway, looking forward to doing that. Uh, it's heavy too. <laughs> okay, well that's pretty much it for today. Uh, it's it's already getting dark. I've got the light on here just to help me out. Uh, one more thing before we go, I guess. Beer review? Beer review! Beer review time! What have you got for us, Russell? City Girl. City Girl is a whirlwind of personality sometimes. Anyway, here we are. Aria... What is it? <laughs> Aria Porter. Another Ontario craft beer. We kind of like the porters. London style dark. IBU 15. 5% alcohol. Hold on a sec. Canadian Distribution Channel Inc. is an in uh, quality brand. No preservatives, no artificial flavors, no. You, you know, sometimes they have this wonderful, like, in a world where there isn't any good beer, this is good beer. And there's a picture of Cyrus the Great, Persian Empire. That's a, that's a, a is his name Arya? No, it's named Cyrus. Well, who's, who's Arya? Anyway, we're gonna try it. I don't think I've had this one before. City girl might come over and take a taste. Here's the pour. And now the pour. Look at the oh, Russell. I gotta stop putting fingerprints on these glasses before I use them. Oh, oh. is it in focus? What's in focus, Russell? I can't tell. Oh, look at the nice red color happening there. There it is. 
is it's a bit more in the can. Big head, but it's not lasting. It's not lasting very long. Okay. It's going to fizz right out. Ah, I like the color on this one. Nice and red. Can you tell? I don't know if you can tell. I could do that flashlight thing again. Oop. Anyway, I like the color on that. Nice and red. City Girl should be doing these. I don't know how to... <laughs> Oh, ah, ah, there's a little battery acid in this one. I'm not sure how to describe that. Come here. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. We need somebody with a palette. And I really like porters too. All right. Can you stand here? It smells okay. What is it? Uh, that doesn't taste like the usual porter. It, it hits you in the back of the throat, right? Yeah, it does. It's not, a, it's not a pleasant taste. What is it? Well, it's not battery acid. Well, <clears throat> no, but... You're handing that one back. <laughs> I am. Okay, well, good luck with How that. How would you describe that? Um... Earthy? <laughs> <laughs> Earthy with a hint of battery <laughs> acid. <laughs> Musty. I mean, is it? It's a lot fizzier than I thought it would be. It's really fizzy. Uh, I just thought that it would be a more more richer taste to it. We're we're terrible at this. Darker. Well, you're terrible <laughs> at it. But, yeah. <coughs> I'm still gonna drink it. I mean, it's not like bone oh, shaker or no. one of those IPAs. Anyway. <coughs> We have a couple of people to thank because they sent stuff. Nice gifts. Yeah, uh, they did. Linda Barron sent 20 bucks for you to buy a drink, I think it was. Yes. Thank you, Linda. You to buy a drink. Thanks, Linda. Thank you, Linda. Every, every time I've seen Linda, her face is very green. Okay. And then Dale and Denise. Way to go. Uh, who I've run into in Tweed a couple of times. <laughs> These are a whole bunch of stuff. This is really cool. So we got coasters. Uh, what does that say? Raspberry Rock? Raspberry Rock? And this one with a moose on it. And then this one says Raspberry Rock and has bear on it. I'm gonna f I have to find out how uh, Denise makes these. And then City Girl with a, with a bear on it. <laughs> and Russell with a moose on it. Apparently I'm a moose. That's pretty cool. And then they also said mitts. Uh, ras Am I doing this right? Raspberry Rock mitts. Yeah, and they're actually quite comfortable. They're a very nice material. And this will go with my, my jacket that I wear really nicely too. A nice plaid color. And then we've got City Girl mitts. <laughs> I'm not holding these very well. City Girl mitts. Yeah, that's cool. The same as the other ones, but smaller, I think. Not not Russell size hands. And then finally, the best. I don't know why I haven't done a shirt like this in my uh, Teespring store, but yeah, <laughs> nicely done, Dale and Denise. Let me know how you how you did these, because that's really cool. That's some cool stuff. I'll have to wear this for. Books fest. Maybe we'll be books festing. The internet's been great lately. I books fested all fr last Friday night and barely lost any frames. We were doing really good. What do you think, dear? Yeah. Uh, today is City Girl's birthday, so you have to let her know uh, how happy that makes you. <laughs> <laughs> what would you let? Uh, what do you let a person know on their birthday? <laughs> what? Good tidings. Oh my goodness. Uh, here she comes. <laughs> All right, listen up, folks. That's right, you should wear the pea soup over your head. I had to cook my own birthday <laughs> dinner. Why, you asked, did I have to cook my own birthday dinner? Why did you have to cook your own birthday dinner? 
Well, because someone had to edit a video this evening. This video. Hey, I was perfectly fine with that. Um, and then, <laughs> then I got grief because, because what? There was a chicken bone in the, in the sink. Well, she bagged up. Okay, so we had this. I didn't even eat the chicken bone. We had this seafood <laughs> delight thing, which had, what, had a couple of crab legs. It oh, had yeah. shrimp. It yep. had um, scallops. Scallops. And uh, what's it? Mussels? Yes, and mussels. So yes. there's a lot of leftover stuff uh, that I'm going to take out to the burn barrel and just burn it all. Yeah. And so she bagged it all up very carefully, but left a, a chicken bone in the sink. <laughs> really? It's my birthday. <laughs> anyway. People are going to be like, what? What's going on? Where did the chicken bone come from? <laughs> I mean, yeah, this is a very long video. Uh, I know it was over. An, I just I'm edited up to this point, so it's over an hour long already, and this is probably ten minutes that I'm adding on to it. I don't know. Uh, so a very long video, and I knew it was going to take a while, and I wanted to spend some time with City Girl this evening. So it's only a quarter to nine, so we still have some time. That's why I didn't make dinner, even though it's. I mean, it's like hors d'oeuvres. You take it into the box, you put it in the oven. It was a lot of work to it, right? That's right, my friend. You put that t-shirt over your head. <laughs> no pea soup for me. Anyways, we'll see you in the next video, and hopefully we'll see you at the live stream Friday night, which is probably tonight if you're watching on Friday. We love you all. Don't forget to comment, and pea soup!